Well, good afternoon. Greetings from the bank basement. I am your squicked Funkle Dunky, Shaw Paul Better, and we have another nasal snuff review. We're taking a look at Kalmut. I got to make sure I've got the right tin in my hand, and the only way I can do that is to sniff it. Nope, that's not it. That's the Osgard. Let's see. Ah, here we go. I'm pretty sure this is it. This is the Kalmut from Falzer. This is described as being a blend of Burley and Jodenheimer tobacco, which is scented with wintergreen, a little bit of menthol, and some honey. Honey. And uh, it's very good. This is my fourth try because I just blew out the front end of my audio the last one. It was so distorted. I got to remember to talk more softly. I don't need to project the great announcer voice. I don't need to do that. Anyway, in the, gra in the uh, tin, uh, let me smell it first. But yeah, basically you smell wintergreen. You know, wintergreen is a love it or hate it, I think. Because there is that famous stomach product, intestinal product, uh, called Pepto-Bismol, uh, many people have that association with wintergreen, and so it will put them off. It also smells like a couple of different liniments or body rubs that uh, people have used over the years. Uh, and that association could, could put you off of wintergreen. I happen to love wintergreen. I think it's a great flavor. And this wintergreen uh, winter is quite good. And, you know, wintergreen scented snuffs are fairly rare. Uh, the other one that comes to mind, of course, is Swisher Checkerberry, which I have not been able to find for about the last seven, eight years. Have not been able to find it. So uh, it's good. And, and the wintergreen scent is very good. But this is going to be a lot more complex, not only because it contains the Odenheimer tobacco in addition to the Burley, but also because in addition to the wintergreen, it has a bit of menthol and some honey in it. So that makes it different. The grind is lovely. It's silky. It is somewhere between medium and fine and somewhere between medium and dry as far as the moisture goes. But it is not, trust me on this, because this is my fourth take of this video. It's not a difficult uh, at all. It's not a difficult um, sniff at, at all. So I'm going to do a pinch here. Um, now again, remember, this is my fourth attempt at doing this video, so I've had a lot of this. And the only reason that I'm pinching it on camera is, well, because I'm on camera. Doo -doo -doo. <sighs> Grab my spanker chip here. Yeah, and you get a whole big blast of wintergreen when you first take this. I'm not really smelling the base tobacco. I'm feeling the menthol more than smelling it. I do appreciate the fact that when Falzer makes snuffs that contain menthol, they don't try to burn your head off with the menthol. They're, they're fairly restrained. So if you're a real menthol head, these aren't going to satisfy that menthol craving for you. But if you hate menthol, you might be able to toler this, tolerate this one pretty well. It's nice. It's really nice. The wintergreen lasts for about two or three minutes. It is not clogging. This will not cause that famous rebound where your mucous membranes start to swell inside the nose, thus blocking your nose. Unless you do a lot of it. I could see this being cloggy if you were just doing huge spoonfuls of this. Uh, but... No, it's not bad. Uh, the, the throat drip, what I refer to as back drip, is not confrontational. There is a good amount of throat drip with this, but it is not stingy. It will not sting your soft palate or burn you. It's pleasant. It's not bitter at all. It's really, really good. While I'm letting this process in my nose and we're waiting for some of that wintergreen to back off a little bit, I'm looking for the honey here, and I'm not finding it yet, and I'm also looking for the scent of the base tobacco. But right now, it's pure, pure wintergreen for, this, for the moment. So, got to tell you this, I got another uh, nasty gram from a viewer that said, a private message, from a viewer that said, man, your eyes just scare me. You have really creepy, you know, creepy, scary looking eyes. And maybe you should put on sunglasses or a paper bag over your head or do your videos in the dark because your eyes really freak me out. 
Okay, you want to get freaked out, Buster? Here it comes. By the way, for the rest of you, you won't be scared because you're looking at my eyes and you're used to the way my eyes look. But for the little snowflake that felt compelled to insult me about the appearance of my eyes, this is for you, pal. Look at these eyes. Look at these eyes. Aren't they scary? You'll be having a wet dream of a sex with a supermodel. And just before you get ready to stain your sheets, you'll think of these eyes. You'll see them in your dream, and you will never have a wet dream again. <laughs> that scare you? <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Oh my God, <laughs> that was good. There was a little snuff on the inside of the handkerchief. So when I coughed into it, it blew the snuff up into the air and right into one of my weird looking eyes. Oh, that's fun. And not. Ah. <laughs> All right, the winter green is fading. A uh, little bit. And I'm just getting a little hint of that honey. And it's, it's a nice honey. It's like a wild mountain honey or a, a flower honey floral honey. It's not like a clover honey. Oh, it's so nice. But it's not very much. There's just a little hint of the honey. I suspect the honey is just there largely to sweeten the Jodenheimer tobacco, which tends to be a little spicy, a little rough, edgy. Uh, of course, the burly. Burly is burly. You know, it's, it's fine. Yeah, now I'm getting the tobacco base a lot more sweet, nicely balanced. You might ask me, how's the menthol? Not a lot. If you're a menthol head, uh, you live on menthol, uh, you're not going to find enough menthol in this to impress you. And for those of you who hate menthol, you will probably find this one to be tolerable. There is not enough menthol to put off the diehard menthol haters. There's some. It's more of a sensation than an aroma. Oh, I hate that. Have you ever had a burp get caught in your chest? And it won't go up and it won't go back down. It just kind of sits there going, free me. But it, I can't. It's right there. Burp. I like this. I like this very much. Now, you might ask, how's the nicotine? Well, on a scale of, we'll, we'll say this time, zero. It's more accurate, zero to 10, where zero is no nicotine at all. You're sniffing grape sugar. Or uh, at 10 would be just like way too much. You'll have vagus nerve spasms. You'll flop on the floor, do your best flopping beach fish impression. Uh, this is maybe a five and a half, maybe a six. Now, I've done a lot of this trying to do this video. Uh, probably now I'm up to about a gram and a half of consumption uh, over the four takes. And I'm feeling the nicotine, but I'm not getting the pulse in the side of my nose. I have no perceptible increase of heartbeat. You know, I'm not getting tachycardia from it. It's fine. But there is nicotine there, and with enough use of this, it might be satisfying. Okay, here... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> That hardly ever happens. I hardly ever sneeze on snuff. Uh, yeah, it's starting to get a little itchy in the nose, but again, that throat drip or back drip isn't bad. It's nice. On the squinty scale, where one would be disgusting and five would be wunderbar, this is a five out of five. Will I buy this again? Definitely. As soon as I'm done with this tin, I will run right back to artisansnuff.com and maybe pick up a couple of tins of this, because it's something I think I will use not every day, though. Uh-oh, here comes another sneeze. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice nicotine, not overly done, not too much menthol, great tobacco base, very easy to sniff, very pleasant in the nose. I'm giving this a five out of five, and then some. You'll want this. So that's it. Moderate nicotine, super high quality. If you like wintergreen, you're really going to like the scent. The honey is very subtle, as is the menthol. And again, five out of five. Falzer. Kalmut. Super good. And I got this again at artisansnuff.com. And you can too for about four pounds, 39 pennies. 
I think that was the price I saw on the site. So, and that's where I got this tin as well. Excuse me, it's time to clean out the schnoz. Just a second, I'm sorry. There we go. Much better. So, I hope you enjoy Halloween. It's coming up. Um, different cities do the whole trick-or-treat, beggar's night thing uh, a little differently. I don't know what's the plan here for my town. Uh, they might do it on Saturday night because being the weekend and Halloween falling on a Monday. Uh, but they might wait till Monday. I don't know. I have to find out. Because we will be giving treats out to all the little beggars. And no, the treats will not. Before you write a silly comment, no, I am not giving out tobacco to children. Yeah, it's candy. <laughs> they get candy with no fentanyl, guaranteed. Uh, so anyway... That's it, and uh, again, for my uh, friends who have not yet subscribed, I ask you to subscribe and do it right now. If you are currently a subscriber to Simply Snuff, who has 6,800 subscribers to my 2,680, uh, maybe if you subscribe to Simon, you might want to come here and see what hijinks I can come up with as well. No, you don't have to jump ship. You can be true to two snuff meisters, and you know. Uh, and please do subscribe. Comments. I love your comments, even the nasty ones. You know, if you want to write me a public comment saying your eyes look really messed up, man, maybe you should like hide. Uh, that's fine. You know, write whatever you want. Do press that like button, the thumbs up, because. Contrary to what some so-called experts have written in comments to this channel, yes, it does affect the algorithm. Quite a lot, actually, in that the more likes a video gets, if someone searches for nasal snuff or snuff, it will put my videos higher on the list of recommendations. Okay, That and views dictate whether or not and I suspect whether or not you carry commercials or not. Now, I do not do advertising on my channel. I'm not monetized. And so I might end up a little lower down the list because YouTube makes less money. You know, YouTube is not making money off my videos. So, but if you want to get uh, notified of new content, and if you are subscribed, don't forget to repeatedly, every time you watch one of my videos, hit that notification bell icon. And that way you will be updated when I upload new content. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate it more than you know. You are my snuff-taking family. And I respect that and I appreciate it. So I will continue to try to do the best reviews I can, even with these weird-looking eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha